weather impact alert for us for the rest of the night and into the day tomorrow as now Hurricane Helene, major hurricane, category three hurricane now is bearing down, getting closer to a landfall later on tonight along the coast of Florida. And then the next target is Georgia as the system moves quickly up through our state, giving us some big time impacts where we're going to see a lot of heavy rain with the potential for flooding as well as damaging wind gusts that will be tropical storm force winds and maybe even some winds on the south side at hurricane force that is going to bring down a lot of trees and it's going to be causing power outages in our area as well. There's that center of circulation, but look how large the storm is as it's moving up to the north. You can see those storms on the west side of Florida prompting tornado warnings. We have tornado watches, additional tornado warnings there in the Florida panhandle. There's that tornado watch that goes into south Georgia, one into east Georgia, and you can see how Helene is enhancing the flow that is pushing all of this Gulf moisture into our area. So we're still dealing with rain now and we have more rain on the way and the shield of rain from Helene has not even made it into our area yet. So it is only going to get worse. Here is what we're watching right now with the latest track. You see it with that landfall later tonight, most likely 9, 10 o'clock there in the Big Bend region. Then still a category two hurricane as it moves into South Georgia, a category one north of that, a tropical storm here in Atlanta. That timeline looks like it's going to be early tomorrow morning when it moves through here by afternoon. It's up into Tennessee. So the good news with this is it is moving very quickly. Uh, it's not going to sit on top of us and just stay for a while and stall out. It is moving quickly and by tomorrow afternoon we're going to see some big time improvements with that. The spaghetti model is pretty much a similar track as what the National Hurricane is showing with the center of that circulation just to the east of the city and then dying out again as it moves on up to the north. So here is a look at what we're watching with these potential impacts. We're watching the rain. We have already had a lot of rain. The ground is saturated. We're talking about another three to six inches of rain here. The winds are going to start gusting through the evening hours tonight and then overnight and into tomorrow morning with the highest uh, winds between three and nine in the morning. There'll be 40 to 60 miles an hour. Some spots even hurricane force winds there. The tornado risk is mainly a low chance on the east side during the overnight hours. Melissa Nord is tracking that rain that has already fallen and that's already causing some issues with yeah. floods in our area. And Chris, the National uh, Weather Service in Peachtree City, they put out these local hurricane statements. They just issued one as we were going on air for this latest segment. They said Helene is going to bring almost unprecedented levels of flooding and wind potential here in parts of central and northern Georgia, kind of rivaling Irma. Opal, you remember that in 95. So this is a storm to take seriously. And one of the aspects I want to talk about is why we're so worried about the power outage and tree fall risk. And that's because we've had so much rain coming in and we're expecting more rainfall before those highest winds even come in. I want to show you an example. As we get strong winds coming at trees, if the dry at the ground is dry, those root systems, they're locked in. They're locked in a little bit better, so it's hit with those strong winds. Those trees sway a little bit, but they're able to stay upright a little bit better. But when you add a bunch of rain into the scenario, the ground is wet, it's saturated, it's muddy. Those root systems are not locked in, so they're a lot more susceptible to strong wind gusts moving in. Plus, we still have all the leaves on the trees, so that's adding a little bit more to the aerodynamic scenario. So we add those wind gusts on top of it, and it causes these trees to be uprooted by the root system. So I am concerned about power outages through the overnight and also concerned about flooding. This is our flood risk, which shows you through the overnight into tomorrow morning. We have a high risk of flash flooding anywhere you look on the map. We've got rain coming down. You can see as well from Atlanta points east. It's not just light rain. The rain's been picking up in intensity. Now stretching into Athens, Gwinnett County, pockets of heavier rain, and also this corridor stretching in through Clayton County, Henry County, down into Spalding County and uh, Pike and Lamar counties. Really heavy rain there. You're under a flash flood warning. These are the first of what will be many flash flood warnings tonight. Chris, one of our many threats that we'll be tracking with Helene. And what you're explaining there about the, uh, the saturated ground and with the trees falling, look what happens with these winds during the nighttime hours tonight. Now during the evening, it's not that bad. You'll notice those breezes though kicking up this evening and then early tomorrow morning. This is at 430 in the morning. We're going to see those stronger winds. There's the center of circulation moving in just to the east of us, but it's spreading in those really strong winds. Look at this 630 in the morning. 
morning. We're talking about 47 mile an hour wind gusts here, 45 mile an hour wind gusts in Peachtree City, 47 mile an hour wind gusts in the Thomaston area, and then still holding with us there at 730 with these really strong winds, 58 mile an hour wind gusts over in Eatonton at 730 tomorrow morning. Then that center of circulation moves to the north as it does. We're still going to be dealing with some breezes during the day. That'll be pretty brisk, not as strong as those peak winds that we're talking about in the early morning hours. That's why we're holding on to that weather impact alert. Then low rain chances Saturday, Sunday and Monday uh, and then dry Tuesday and Wednesday before a 20% chance for shower comes back Thursday with highs in the lower 80s. Stay with us. Much more to come after the break.